Hi, I'm Azdin Arici. I'm a software engineer at SourceGraph. And today I'm going to talk about my side project, which is Genji. Uh, Genji is an embedded database. It's, uh, it combines SQL with documents, and it's written in Go. So documents here are just any structured data, which could be flat or nested. or um, And uh, it's not limited to JSON. Type. In fact, Genji is not a JSON database. It's um, document fields are actually uh, SQL types, like ints, double, text, blobs, and so on. Um, Genji took a different approach uh, when it comes to SQL. Instead of um, implementing the SQL standard, uh, we decided to treat documents as first-class citizens. So the SQL API is completely designed to take them into account, to deal with missing fields and type mismatch between documents, etc. So there's no JSON column type. Um, there's no column. Uh, concept of column. There's there are paths um, which are very familiar if you if you look at these, and you have the choice between um, creating tables with uh, schemaless tables or with schemas. And these schemas will allow you to control all the fields you care about. Um, it's a general purpose database. You can use it for app application data, for caching in memory or on disk. Exploring data you don't know much about. Uh, you can use it on small devices, on the web. Well, it's still experimental, but that's the goal. And you can store encrypted data um, on disk. So creating a table with a schema looks like this. It's pretty much the same as any other uh, relational database. The main difference on the left, you can see that we are using paths instead of just uh, columns. So you can see on line 18 that uh, we are applying a constraint on the author name. And uh, we also imply that author is a nested document and it will be inferred automatically by the database. We can, um, yeah, as I said, use the constraint, uh, any constraints uh, we want, and we can also create indexes on either the fields we defined we defined above or other fields that are not defined defined here. This is very important. Schemas in Genji only apply to what you care about, and the rest will be stored uh, with the default um, conversion. We can also create um, Schemaless database, as I said, by simply writing create table and the name of the of the table, and um, yeah, we'll be able to store anything. This could be very useful when we want flexibility or we already know um, the shape of the data we are storing. So, as an example, let's just consume the GitHub API and search issues uh, from the Golang repository. So here's an example of um, the a response from uh, calling the GitHub API. So it's just a list of big JSON documents. Um, so we start with creating a table called issue, and we will not define a schema for uh, for a constraints for all the fields. We we know that there will not be changing because we, we're consuming the GitHub API in this case. And we are most, most, most interested in data exploration in this case. So all we want is to use the ID of, the, of each document and use it as the primary key and make sure that it's, it is an integer. Then we can create a structure or use one from the GitHub um, client library or whatever, just to unmarshal the JSON data into, into a uh, Go structure. Then we can insert it by using insert into issue. And this one is the, let's say, the classic way of inserting data. We define a bunch of uh, fields here, ID, URL, etc., and we just pass the values one by one. We can do better by just writing this, insert into issue values, and then we pass the the complete um, variable. And uh, Genji will use a little bit of reflection magic, not too much, uh, to transform that structure into a document and then insert it and valid validate it if we define any, any constraints. Um, this is not implemented yet, but this is uh, 
like a goal to be able to just uh, specify the URL in, in place of the table and, and the library will just um, go and fetch the data. I'm not sure it will support pagination, but uh, gotta try it. Um, then once, once we fill the table with documents, we can query it. This is the, the, um, the NG API. You can use the query uh, method to um, count the number of uh, issues per user um, in the Go 119 milestone. And as you can see, we're using paths here, like where milestone.title equals Go 119. And yeah, we can use them in the group by in any, any uh, classic SQL clause. Um, it's pretty straightforward. We can, um, the query method returns a stream and then we can iterate over the stream and just um, scan each document into the variable of our choice. Um, in terms of features, we have uh, updates, delete, etc. And we, we are adding more and more. Um, joins are totally planned, uh, not yet implemented at all, but we're getting there. Uh, we have ACID transactions. So this, this is a document database, but it has all of the guarantees that you can have with, let's say, SQLite, for example. So uh, you have a single writer, um, concurrent writer, and multiple concurrent readers, and it's compatible with the database SQL package. Um, it's written 100% in Go, so no CGO required. Um, on the, the low level, the lower level, we are using an engine system. So we have three implementations. The first one is memory. So you can create an in-memory database with that. We're using the Google B3 uh, library. And on disk, we have two flavors. One is Bolt. Um,